Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past, and more. I got this on various sources. Please check the description to know more, there are many interesting topics there, and not all of them can be covered here. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. A groundbreaking discovery has recently been made that could change the way we understand the history of science and technology. A team of archaeologists from the University of Chicago has uncovered an ancient lens at the Palace of Nimrud in Iraq that could be the world's first telescope. The lens, known as the Nimrud lens, is estimated to be over 3,000 years old and is made of rock crystal. The lens is slightly oval in shape and appears to have been crafted using a lapidary wheel. It has a focal length of about 12 cm and a focal point that is about 11 cm from the flat side, which is equivalent to a 3 times magnifying glass. The lens was discovered buried among other pieces of broken glass of similar appearance, which resembled enamel from a disintegrating object, possibly wood or ivory. The discovery of the Nimrud lens is a significant one, as it challenges the widely held belief that telescopes were first invented and employed for astronomical purposes by the famous Dutch mathematician and astronomer, Galileo. It is believed that the ancient people of Assyria, who were conquered by the Persian Empire in the 6th century BC, used the lens as part of a telescope to explain their sophisticated knowledge of astronomy. The lens, which is on display in Case 9 of the Lower Mesopotamian Gallery in Room 55 of the British Museum, proves one thing for sure. Galileo did not invent the first telescope. The discovery of the Nimrud lens also sheds new light on the knowledge and capabilities of ancient civilizations. The Assyrians were known for their passion for observation and their understanding of geometry, arithmetic, and astrology. With the use of tools like the Nimrud lens, they were able to observe stars and record information about them, which can be considered they had advanced technology at that time, not just superstition or magic. What do you think? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update and watch to the end to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The Great American Censorship Or is it simply the Great American Silence? Silence of truth and a world of the great lie. You are the truth. The world is not. The government is not, with few exceptions but you are silent. Say what you think, regardless of the consequences. That is the truth. Don't feed the lie by remaining silent. Start the ball rolling. Grow a pair. God will protect you. This is the global message which is going around at the moment, from God. How can you defeat evil if you do not resist evil? And if you do not defeat evil, it will be victorious over you. Is that what the majority want? The mark of the beast. According to the Bible prophecy, as opposed to Bible dogma, this is what will happen. Prophecy can be changed. Dogma cannot. The reason prophecy is given is so that we do change. So that we avoid the outcome of the direction in which we are heading. The mark of the beast is obviously not dogma, it is prophecy. The bigger, the more important the issue, the earlier the prophecy is given. And the antidote to all this is to stand up to this evil. Say what you think. Truth, your truth, is inside you. It is not outside you. 
what is outside you is lies. Because it is universal doesn't make it right. Hell on earth doesn't make it heaven. It really doesn't. No one wants to go to hell, not even Satanists. They are only Satanists because they are caught up in the prevailing spirit. They are a victim of their own stupidity. Ask God that you do not be like them. Beg God that you do not be like them by remaining silent in the face of lies. Silence as submission that is, not silence as resistance. The latter is the prerogative of those who will belong to God if they persevere. This silence is the mark of God. This will be the majority of the resistance. But many are called to resist by not remaining silent. CS is not the world leader he thinks he is. Do not let his successor think so either. Who are the leaders of the NWO? We don't know. They are hidden behind layers of secrecy. They are Kabbalists. They follow the protocols of Zion. They are at the top of the pyramid of Satan, which has infiltrated every level of society and bureaucracy, politics, religion, education, science, entertainment, business, banking, you name it. They have infiltrated it at the highest levels through self-patronage. They are mirrors of Satan, mirrors of Lucifer, demons in other words. Hence they must remain hidden, so as not to be destroyed. How can we destroy them? Through faith, prayers, self-sacrifice, and actions driven by the above. That's plan A. There is no plan B. If you don't have the above, get out of the way. You are a part of them, nothing more, with a morbid sense of curiosity, and useless to the desire and movement for peace, democracy, and health. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.